morning Jen happy whatever day I post this probably Friday maybe Thursday I don't know anyway welcome back to the garden sorry there wasn't a video last week we flew to Minnesota and I didn't have time to get what I had recorded like edited and then published in time and then by the time I could edit it it didn't make any sense anymore because I made a video for my mom about what to water and harvest but she had already been here on Sunday Anyway, um, she did a great job. So mom, if you're watching this, thank you very much for taking care of our garden. Um, she harvested our first cucumber, which I ate when we came back and it was super crunchy and really delicious and I loved it. Um, <laughs> and then there was a pickling cucumber that did not get picked, which is 100% not my mom's fault, but uh, it was like twice as big as it should have been. So I turned it into pickles. It made its own jar. It's totally fine. Um, I'm excited to eat them. They are currently curing or pickling or whatever anyway um so the garden has officially popped off okay look at all this gorgeous stuff i'm so proud of it yes that is a spaghetti squash i need to figure out a way to support it probably with pantyhose we'll see anyway i wanted to talk to you today about something potentially gross Okay, so I'm gonna flip you around and then we're gonna talk about bean beetles. All right, welcome back. So right now I am showing, look at that, look at that, that's ridiculous. Okay, this is our trellis of green beans. Uh, behind it is <laughs> basically a forest of tomatoes. Anyway, look at all of the damage that has occurred to these leaves. So I wanted to talk to you about God, that upsets me. About bean beetles, which are the absolute worst, or to quote Alex, not my favorite. I'm very upset with some of this damage that has happened to my beans. So I'm gonna talk about ways to prevent it so this hopefully does not happen to you. Also, bug warning, I'm going to put up pictures of beetles and larvae and stuff so that you can see what you're maybe dealing with and what to watch out for. I've had to deal with it all week long. All right, so uh, green beans, one of their, well, one of the biggest pests or the biggest pests that we've had to deal with is the bean beetle, the Mexican bean beetle. They look like a ladybug, uh, but they're a little more like burnt Santa orange and they have 16 black spots on their wings. Um, they're cute until they destroy your beans or until you see their larvae, which are little yellow, disgusting, spiny, grubby, things. They're gross. And they have infested our plants, or they had infested our plants. Uh, Phil, bless his heart, squished a bunch of them, like, I don't know, probably 20 or something, uh, in a little <laughs> plant starter pot that is now dead and gone and in the garbage. Um, so thank you to Phil for doing that. Uh, however, that didn't take care of all of them. So I had to do some of that myself and it was really gross um but okay i figured it out so to get the grubs off your leaves if you don't want to just you know like touch them with your hands because ew that's disgusting nobody should be touching bugs gross um you can just knock them off with like a stick i used a bamboo stake um and then you can make sure that they're squished. Like if they fall into the ground, make sure that you actually squish them so they don't overwinter or climb back on your plants. Um, but you can just do that with a stick. Um, and then uh, if you see one of the adult beetles, you can just squish them too, of course. Um, I felt very guilty about that yesterday. I had found a couple of adults and I squished them. I mean, they're just trying to like live their best life and eat their food and have their like, you know, next 70 billion generations of gross bug children but they're hurting my bean plants and I can't like abide that, okay? We worked really hard on this and also uh, cost a lot of money to have a garden. So anyway, um, that is how you deal with them if you have them. So some ways that you can prevent them is to have marigolds. And if you are a studious follower of this channel, one of the 12 of you, you probably remember me previously saying uh, that we had planted marigolds because marigolds keep gross bugs away. Speaking of gross bugs, here's one of the cucumbers and I'm just gonna, just gonna go this way. Okay. All right. 
Okay. Uh, anyway, so marigolds. We planted some marigolds by the green beans and it helped. It helped a lot because I had noticed that we had uh, bean beetle damage previously. Um, and then there was no more damage after we planted the marigolds. I did not notice that the marigold had died. So we need to replace the marigold. Um, it died because I'm pretty sure it wasn't getting enough sun and slash or it got overwatered. Um, we also recently discovered that we've been overwatering like our entire garden. So uh, this rain needs to quit. Um, but anyway, there's no more marigold. Um, so we're gonna replace that or just let it go um, just for the season because it's getting a bit late in the summer season. And at this point, I don't know that with all of the damage that the beans have, if it's worth trying to salvage. Um, so marigolds are a good option for preventing bean beetles. Rosemary supposedly is another good option. Um, I hate rosemary. I really don't like it as a spice or an herb or whatever. Um, I just don't enjoy the flavor at all. Uh, however, I'll probably plant some just to see if it actually works in keeping away some of the bugs that we're uh, dealing with. Another one we're having trouble with is um, ants, which I've said a bunch of times uh, throughout all of these videos. The ants are crazy. It's super obnoxious to try and like deal with how many we have. Um, and I'm pretty sure that the issue with the ants is that we have some aphids. We have aphids growing on the purple bush beans. Um, so I neem oiled those just to see if that helps at all. We'll see. I think that what's going to help most with them is to uh, really just wipe them off. Um, and I'm kind of considering buying some live ladybugs because I hate <laughs> I really hate having to deal with all these other disgusting bugs that are wrecking my garden, okay? It's super annoying. Anyway, what what is the point of this video? I'm just complaining about bugs, which are a totally natural part and important part of, like, gardening. They're just really gross, okay? I don't like it. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.